start warming up. We got to warm up our brains. You ready? Here, girly, here's your brush. You're warming up. Are you ready to warm up? Grab your red brush. You guys have a jar of water? Okay. Why? <laughs> okay, if you want to. Okay, shake it out in your jar, and let's make some jingle bells on our jar. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, the first thing we got to do is our background between our trees. So you guys all picked different colors, didn't you? Everyone has different colors. Okay. Oh, well, good luck. We are starting with our background. Now, there is one color we have to mix. White. Always mix white with your color. When you're using acrylics, it's very important. Are you? Okay, but add white. Okay, so here's my plate. I have separated all my colors, right? Yours should be separated. These are my favorites. So what I'm going to do for my blue, because I want a dusty blue, I'm going to take some white and scoop it up just like that. <laughs> you, need a, you need a good chunk, okay? Now, you might not need as much white if you want it darker, okay? I don't know what color you're using. Now I'm going to add a touch of blue to start with. I always start with a little bit because this blue is so strong. You can see how fast it changed the shade of my white, huh? Yeah, doesn't take very much, okay? And I'm going to get myself a light blue. Now for my blue, I want a dusty blue, so I'm going to add a little bit of brown. So I'm actually going to come over here to my brown and just touch it. I don't want a lot, okay? I start with a tiny bit of brown. And I'm going to mix it in with my blue and see if I like it. Okay? You just have to try things, right? It's all about trying and learning as we go. So I'm going to mix in a little bit. And I actually want mine slightly darker. I'm just going to add a touch more blue. Kind of have to play with it a little bit. See what you like, huh? Did you? Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, so yeah, just kind of look at it and decide if you like it, okay? I like my color. I think that's pretty good, right? Keep mixing until you love it. And then what we're going to do is paint in between our trees. So just so you don't get confused, right, on what's a tree and what is between the tree, you want to make sure that these big stripes stay white. Those are your trees. Okay, the little stripes are the background. Okay, so I'm going to start on this far edge right here. I'm going to start at the top, and I'm just going to brush down right next to my tree. And you know what? Have you ever seen a perfectly straight tree in your life? Um, I haven't, so I'd like to know where it is. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to brush all the way down and not worry too much if my line isn't perfect. Because these trees aren't going to be perfectly straight, okay? Have you? Hmm, hmm. Oh, boy. I can't believe they cut down a perfectly straight tree. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, now, all of the artists that have been here before know what I'm talking about when I say wrap your canvas, huh? You know, but we might have some new friends who don't know what that means. So I'm going to tell you. Do you see the sides of my canvas? See that? It's painted, huh? Just like a present. You guys have seen beautifully wrapped presents. Makes it look so nice. So do you see my sides too? What about the top? Do you see my trees? They wrap around the top. Do you see that? Yeah. And the bottom, my deer and my trees wrap the bottom. Okay, see that? Yeah, so basically, as you're painting, you just follow it around. Follow whatever you're painting around the side, or the bottom or the top, okay? So as you go, you can reach around. You met my helpers on the floor, right? My awesome helpers tonight. You have some of the coolest people. We have Alora over here. She's in pink. Hi, Miss Alora. And we have Miss Maylie. She's in black, way over there, way on the other side. See her waving at you. 
they're going to be circling the floor. And if you need any help, all you have to do is say help, or you can raise your hand. Okay? They're really awesome at what they do, and they can help you with anything. Just let them know, okay? All right, I'm going to skip now. We have our big tree here, so I'm going to skip it and go to the next one. Fill this in. What's up, hon? Of course. That is your special painting. So if you want to change that up a little bit, you do it. Okay. Yeah, we love to see what you guys come up with. Okay, so I'm going to try not to paint inside my deer's head, but you know what? If we accidentally do that, not a big deal. We still have lots of layers to do and a lot more to do. Okay, so this background right here comes under my deer's chin. See that? Right next to my belly. Uh, not my belly. Uh, you think so? Okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to go under the chin, though, and just put that blue in right between for those trees. Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay. So cute. Now this one is a little confusing. It's confusing because it's next to the ear and it's easy to miss. See it up there? So there's a little line right here to separate it. And that's all you got. So we have to pay close attention to this one. Do you guys remember what the toe of your brush is? Yeah? Your brush has a toe, right? That's the tippy tippy point of your brush. That's this part right here. <laughs> it's just like if you were standing on your tippy toes. Your brush stands on his tippy toes. When you use the toe, you can get into tiny little places on your canvas that you otherwise couldn't. So this little corner right here by my ear, I'll turn my brush and use the toe to paint down next to my ear. Okay? And that will make it easier to paint in tiny places. So turn your brush. Okay? Now let's do our last stripe. It's over here on this side. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. And remember, it doesn't have to be a perfect line, huh? It's perfectly imperfect. All the way down. There we go. All the way down to the back of our deer. <laughs> Did you? Oopsie. Where, right here? Yeah, for sure. At the very end, okay? At the end. We'll do that nose. Um, so you just need to wipe it off probably, huh? Yeah. Is it still wet? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you just keep painting down the other side. Do you want me to come get it, honey? Are you sure? Because the only chance I, I can do it right now while it's wet. You want me to? Okay. Oh, that's a pretty color, Robin. Love it. Good work, guys. Got a hand up over here. Need some help. All right. Okay, do you want me to take it off? So what you can do is just um, paint it white in a minute. Look, but we'll get the most of it off so that you can easily put white back in it, okay? Does that sound good? How we doing, ladies? What happened? I heard something. <laughs> you have to. Right? <laughs> you don't have straight tree. Perfect. That's what we're going for. Nailed it. I know that's why I was like, I can't do a straight line. Are you kidding? No. Especially with how much caffeine I drank today. Not happening. Really? Don't be listening to my conversation over here. <laughs> my microphone. So, All right. 
Oh my goodness. This looks so good, guys. All right. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, right here. Just leave that. Mmm. I like it. What's up, honey? So you're going to paint over that. So don't even worry about that. Okay, to do a line. Just make sure you have enough water in there. Okay, you did really good. All you're going to do, start at the top and try going down without picking up your brush. See that? Oh, yeah, you can do it. Just practice. That's why you're here to practice. See that? And then you have that little corner right there, too. Oh, you're, that's a good question. You're going to use your toe. Remember the toe? Ooh, I'll help you, though. How's that? How's that feel? So you have this side right here all the way up. That's not. That's a tree. You have this, though. This space and this. Oh, and this is perfect. Can you see it now? Does it help a little bit? Okay. You guys are doing great. Okay, so you're going to finish, right? Okay, let's just make you a little more paint. There we go. Okay, there you go. Fill this in and fill that line, but not this. That's a tree. Good, there you go. Perfect. Ooh, pretty colors. I love it. Okay, just check the top of your canvas and the bottom. Those are easily forgotten because you can't see them, right? Well, let me show you. So see this? Follow your stripe around. Can you see that? Yeah. So you just go all the way around. Follow your stripe right here between the tree. Follow it around the top. See that? Follow it around. Same on the bottom. You're going to follow it around. Okay? Or you just paint the whole thing blue. We have a lot of artists that did that, and it looks cool. You could do the whole thing blue if you want and not even separate it. Okay? Totally up to you. Who ha We have a little hand up over here, Mei Mei. Anyone else need help? We have one more hand right there, Laura. Okay. Good work. These look cute already. These colors are so fun. I know, girl. You got lots to do. You better get cracking on that. <laughs> I'm going to rinse out my brush. Rinse and rinse in. Oh, man. We'll be here all night if I don't keep moving, you know? I, w I would paint with you all night, but I don't think your parents would be okay with that. They've got to come get you. We're going to mix our deer color. Okay. Did you? Perfect. Okay, we're going to let <laughs> we're going to let our background dry for a minute, and we're going to mix a color for inside our deer. Oh no. You're good. Don't even worry. Okay. Now, to get our deer color. All right, let's do the dark first. We're going to paint the dark part first, and I'll show you how to easily make it lighter, okay? So, depending on how dark you want your deer, I mix yellow with my brown because I love the shade it gives my deer, okay? So, you have a whole pile of yellow there, right? I'm going to just start mixing some yellow with my brown here. You can use the whole pile if you want. You can just start with a little bit. But just kind of play with the shading. And remember, you're going to get a different shade than me. We all do. Because we mix color a little bit differently and we see it differently. Okay? Now I'm going to add some white to it, right? We always need to add some white. But if you add a lot of white, you're going to get a really light deer. Okay? So you kind of have to start with a little, try it, and see if you like it. All right. Brown is the trickiest color. It's the trickiest. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah? My mic, like, got quiet on me over here. <laughs> scared me with what? Oh, don't do that. Don't scare me. Okay. So we're going to start up at the top of our deer and start working our way around, okay? Here we go. Yep, start with the ear. All the way around. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want that to happen. I'll fix it in a minute. Okay, now here's the thing with our deer. Brown is one of those colors that might need two layers, okay? So don't try and put it on too thick. Yeah, don't try and put it on too thick. Put a layer on, and you can go back and put another layer if you need it, okay? Okay, there it is. It's like, where did my mic go? Okay. Let's go around the outside of our ear. And you notice I'm doing my ears first. Okay. Because we want to be able to see that separation from the top of the head and our ear. So I always do my ears first. And brown, it just is. It's one of those colors with acrylics. It's a little tricky. Got to be patient with it. And sometimes you have to go back and add one more layer to it. That's why we're going to start it right now, okay? Now, once you do the ears, let's go around that head. Follow it around. Yeah, we're doing it right now. Give it a minute to dry so you can put your second layer on in a sec. And some artists are happy with the first layer. I like two. I'm going to go around my head and down. I'm trying, yeah, we have to go nice and slow, huh? It's a little tricky. And we want to try to stay outside of the inside of the head right here around the eye. I'm going to try and stay outside of that shape, okay, best I can. But if we accidentally paint inside around the eye, it's okay. No worries, okay? We're going to paint it, yeah. We're going to paint it again. It's okay. Uh-huh. Right. You got it. Now, I'm going to paint around these circles to show you how to do that. But if you want to change the spots, all you have to do is paint right over them. Okay? So if you don't want to do them like Miss Sarah's, you can paint over the circles, and it'll cover them up. Otherwise, try and paint around them. It'll help as a guide for later. You know? It'll help guide you later. It's kind of nice to have them. Use the toe of your brush. This is where it gets tricky, and you really have to use that toe to go around your spots, huh? Turn your brush so you can use that tippy point. Ooh. Okay. Now, we don't want any pockets showing, right, on our canvas. You know what pockets are? Little white spots. Okay, that's where... You don't have enough paint on your brush and your canvas doesn't get filled. So all those little pockets start to pop up. We want to make sure we try and fill them all in. 
So just put a little more paint on your brush if you need to. Okay, I'm going to try and go around the top of the head here without picking up my brush. That's how you get that smooth. And don't worry about painting inside that nose. You can paint inside that nose. But you're going to fill it in later. <laughs> you were finishing. I'm sure you were. No doubt. Hey, I did mix white with it. Yep, so it's brown and yellow and white. Okay, brown, yellow, and white. Now, once you do the head, go ahead and wrap around the body. Go around the back. I like the big flat because it helps me brush out the strokes of paint. I don't get thick clumps of paint as I go. But if you feel like that smaller flat is easier for you, go for it. Some of you are using it, huh? And that's okay. I like the bigger one. But we're all different. Mmm. Makes sense. I'm going to try and not pick up my brush as I go around these edges. That's how we get a tight edge. Yeah, and it's hard. It's just the style if you want to do it. Yeah, just remember, though, it's a painting, not a print, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Does it? Oh. A little bit. I can see that. Uh huh. Does it? Now you guys can wrap your sides too. See that? See the back? So is, is Pokemon becoming a thing right now? I'm seeing Pikachu everywhere. It's always been a thing, but like, is it a big thing right now? See? All right, because I went to the store. Oh. Okay, well, see, I knew it. I had a feeling. Well, isn't it like their anniversary or something this year? I heard something about that. Yeah. And so I walked in the store and I was very overwhelmed with Pokemon. It was everywhere. So I had a feeling it might be a thing right now. I mean, it's always been a thing. I know. <laughs> well. Really? Hmm. Gotcha. Okay. All right. I got my first layer of brown on. How we doing, you guys? So you notice it's. Br you notice that brown is a little streaky, right? Uh huh. We're doing dark right now. You're doing dark. You're doing good. Doing great. What? Where? No, this is light brown, and this is dark. You have dark. You're doing it. You're doing great. Yeah, it's just this color. You're doing the whole back, this color, and the head. And then we'll do a lighter shade for the belly and the inside of the face. You're doing great. <laughs> so you can see that your deer might have streaks, right? In the brown. That's very normal for the first layer, okay? Very normal. So. If you have that happening, Miss Sarah does too. That's okay. Uh huh. You
you can. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Man. <laughs> uh-huh. I feel that. Okay, these look good. What's up, Penny? That's okay. We can fill it in later. We can put the head color on it or you can leave it. You decide, okay? Yeah, you decide. Okay, let's check in here. Yep. <laughs> Just make sure you have a good layer on there. You can go back. It's so much easier to put one more layer of brown on once it's dry. Because you'll find that that second layer just covers it right up. You won't have any streaks or anything showing. If it's bugging you, that second layer will take them right out. Okay? But it's so much easier if you wait till it dries. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at. Are we about ready? No, we still working on it? <laughs> That's okay. You know, so we all paint at different paces. Some of us are really fast and some of us are slower. You do, yep. True that. That takes some time. I bet. I think you always do a sunset background. That seems to be your thing. Mm-hmm. No? Oh, well, I remember the first. It was with something we painted together. You and I. Uh-huh. I do. It's a good one, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, we just did that one today. Oh, that is su that was such a cute one, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, so cute. I love it. I love all things foxes, though. I just love them. Yeah. Are they? I love them. They're so great. Oh, my elbow's all up in here, but I can't reach it. So sorry. Oh. Huh? <laughs> I'm doing this just a second layer on here a brown Once you finish, you can easily start up top and work your way down because this part will be drying and the top is ready for that second layer. Yeah. So you can start putting that layer in. Just start up at the top and work your way down. 
Ajá. <laughs> Go ahead and wrap the side in the bottom. Now, if you need a minute to let your deer dry, we'll do the face and the belly, okay? Yeah. It'll be so cute. <laughs> So much energy tonight, let me tell you. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, so when you're ready for that second layer, when you're ready for your second layer, just start up at the top. The bottom will be dry. You can go back up to the top and put it in, okay, right over the top of it, if you need it. And the second layer goes faster because you already have a good layer on, right? You're almost done. You have three layers. Wow. That's awesome. It looks good. I love it. Oh, don't worry if we paint it inside that a little bit. That's okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Cute. Mm hmm. Now, if it's picking up your paint, if it's not sticking, you need to let it dry for a minute, okay? So if your second layer is not going on, if you feel like it just keeps picking up the paint, it means it's not ready. Let it dry, and we'll go back to it in a minute, okay? Yeah. I looks good. So if you feel like it's not ready for your second layer, don't worry. Just let it sit, and let's go ahead and paint the inside of our ear and our face and our belly and let it dry a minute, okay? So this part... For the inside here and the belly and the ear, okay, all we're going to do is first rinse our brush. We want to rinse our brush first, okay? And I want you to switch brushes for a minute. I want you to get your small flat brush. You have your small one? Yeah, so switch. If you're using your big red, you switch to your small flat, okay? Yeah, the white one. Yes. Okay, grab your white one. Okay, so to mix the color for inside the ear and the face and the belly, to mix that color, we're going to use our deer color that you've already mixed. We want to use the same one, but we're mixing it with a whole pile of white. Okay? That's the trick because we don't want it too dark, okay? So what we're going to do is I have this mix right here already made for my deer. That's okay. That's okay, keep rolling, honey, you're just fine. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a little bit, see that? And mix it with a whole pile. Cause you can always add to it. You can make it darker, but it's hard to make it lighter, huh? So let's start with a little bit, but use your deer color. So I'm gonna mix a little more, I want it a little darker. And I'm mixing it with a whole pile of white until I get the shade I like, okay? You want a lot, yeah, because you look at this. You got to paint that whole thing, right? I'm just going to keep adding a little brown until I like the shade. You can decide if you want it darker or lighter. Yep, I like that. It's pretty close. I think I want it just slightly darker. Well, that's pretty close. It's almost a skin tone color, huh? A little peachy. Okay. Yep. Now, when you think you got it and you're ready, we're going to start with the ear. 
So we're going to come up here to our ear, okay? And let's fill that in first. Yeah, well, no, it's your deer color. So you're mixing your deer color. Did you just do straight brown for your deer? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay. Whatever color you used for your deer, you're mixing that with lots of white, like a whole pile of white. Okay. Then you're going to go up and we'll paint the inside of the ear. Huh? Okay. Ooh. What? Well, we're celebrating. We've started. <laughs> yeah, there's strong feelings on that. <laughs> now, once I do the inside of my ear, I'm going to go do my belly. I'm doing my belly before I do my head. See that? Right down here. Can you see it? Right under the chin. I guess it's more of like the chest, not the belly. Yeah. It's the same color as the ear and the head. Okay. Now it's super important you use that whole pile of white, okay? You're going to need that whole pile to make sure you have enough. And it's light enough. See that shade? I have a light peachy shade, okay? So remember, to get that color, you're mixing your deer color, a little bit of your deer color, huh, with a whole pile of white. That's how you're getting that color. You need a good amount because you got a big head right here to fill, huh? Okay. Now, once I do the neck and the ear, you can switch brushes to your big red flat if you want, or you can keep your small red flat, whatever works for, for you. Uh-huh. Oh, my. Are you sure that was your head, or do you think it was just the headbands? <laughs> I'm sure. That's, I have too. Oh, man, you're right. I don't. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's rough. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm going to try not to paint inside this eye over here, right? But you know what? If we do a little bit, it's okay. No big deal. Okay. We're just going to get up close to it and not worry too much. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you guys how to do some floating. Because I know how much you love to float with me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm getting close to that eye, but I'm trying not to paint inside. It's kind of hard, you know? It's just a little tricky. Circles are hard. They just are. But you want to just try not to pick up your brush as you go around. Get enough paint on your brush and follow it around. That helps you with that edge. But you're going to put black over it in a minute, okay? You just want to be able to see where it's at. <laughs> Cute. 
cute. Love this. Cutest little deer. All right. Okay, do you need to know how to mix that color again? Do you remember? It's your deer color mixed with a pile of white, right? It's your deer color. So it's that dark brown you mixed, and you can change the shade. You don't have to do it like mine. It can be darker or it can be lighter. Totally up to you, okay? Totally up to you. Yeah, we're all going to have different shades, and that's perfect. That's what we want. We want to see the different shades. <laughs> Cute. We change. Now I'm going to show you guys how to float. We have to float before our head dries. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, makes sense. I see it. Now, how many of you have floated with me before, huh? Anybody? Oh, yeah, we got a couple. You have, huh? Okay. It's not too difficult, but for some of our little artists, it can be tricky, huh? Yeah. I'm going to flow. I'll show you. That is kind of floated, yeah. It's bl Well, you have a fade. You have a blend going on. Oops, add white to it. So I'm going to show you how to float, but here's the thing. You have options, okay? You don't have to do it, okay? So if you choose not to float, that's okay. Do you need to use this? Okay, there you go. How we doing? Looks cute. Oh, isn't that sweet? I love it. Good work. You good? Looks awesome. Oh, that's cute. That's way cute. Just one. Okay, I think we're about there. This looks so good. Okay, I'm going to show you how to float. Okay, but if you choose not to, that's all right. I'll show you what floating is. Okay. So you can see around the edge of my deer. See how it's slightly darker? It's shaded just a little bit. See that? And under the chin, there's a little shading. That's called floating your edges, okay? It kind of softens the edge a little bit. So I'm going to do it. But you know what? Your deer is adorable just like this. So you have to decide if you want to do it or not. But to do it, I'm going to show you. You're just going to keep that color on your brush that you just painted your deer this color right here okay yeah so i'm going to keep this color on my brush and i'm just going to turn my brush sideways and put a little bit of my deer color on the corner that dark brown okay i'm turning my brush sideways and do you see i just put it on that corner nothing else okay and i'm going to face it out towards the edge of my deer and I'm going to try not to pick up my brush and just follow that edge. Okay, I come down like that. Then I'm going to go back up, flip my brush around. Oh, it's something fun to learn to do, but you don't have to if you like your deer the way it is. But I'm going to follow it around, and you can kind of see how it softens the edge of my deer, huh? Oh, cute. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that around my deer real quick. No way, it's so cute, honey. I like it. I've been looking at it. It's really cute. Go ahead and finish it. You might be surprised. It's really cute from here. I love it. Sometimes you have to finish it before you actually see. Oh, not yet. Almost. Got a couple more things to do before we do that. Okay. Yeah. Those are fun. Um, 
It's fun. You can do it. Absolutely. I've seen you do it. Uh-huh. Didn't you do the koala? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you did it. It's just like that one. Isn't it cute? Yeah, so I think you can. You might surprise yourself. Huh? Yep. Did you do it? You floating it? I'm going to do a little bit under the chin for a shadow right there. See that brown just under the chin? Gave it a little shadow. All you need to do is put a little bit of that dark brown under the chin for a shadow. Okay. Oh man, so cute. Okay, and then I'm going to put some in my ear too, along the edge of my ear to make it look like it's shaded just a little bit. See that? Yep, just a little bit along the edge. <laughs> it's kind of tricky to do, so you can just try it, and if you decide you don't like it, you know, it's not necessary. It's super cute without it, too. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Well, I'm using my deer color. So, the uh huh, whatever color you mix for your deer, uh huh, I'm just doing the edges with that. Just to soften it a little bit. And it looks really cute the way you have it, so. If you choose not to float, it won't won't make a huge difference. So to float, though, you want to put, you have your head color, the inside of your head color right here on your brush, okay? And you're going to turn your brush sideways and just put a tiny bit of that deer color on the corner, just the corner, and lay it flat and follow that edge like this. I'm doing it dark so you can see it. See that? So you're going to follow that edge, and it kind of fades away into your color. And then flip your brush and go back up. And just kind of let it fade into your color, your face color there. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like I said, it's not necessary, but it does soften that edge if you want to add it. It's just a little something. Something extra. little extra, huh? OK. I think we're almost ready. Are you ready? What, honey? Yeah, it's a little bonus. You're right. I like that. It's a little bonus. It's a fun thing to try. I love it. We're going to let our deer just have a little break for a minute, okay? Yeah, we're just going to let it have a little break. I think it needs a break, right? <laughs> okay, we can't do our spots yet, so we're gonna we're going to move to black. So how many of you have painted with black before? Right? So you know. Once black is on the canvas, it stays on the canvas, right? It's one of those we can't wipe off. Okay? It gets into the canvas and it we can't get it out very easily. So start small, right? We're gonna do our eye first, okay? We're going to put that black in our eye. I'm going to give you the option. Okay, girls, you have the option. You can use your small flat or you can use your detail brush. Okay, because we're doing small things. So you decide which one's easier for you. But first things first, put your brush in water. Whichever ones you choose, put it in water. Shake it out. And then let's get some black on our brush. Make sure your black isn't too thick. You might need to add a little bit of water. Okay, if you need to add a little water, just put water on your brush and drip it into your black and then stir it in like that. See that? Because you don't want your black too thick. We're doing the nose and the eye. Yeah, nose and the eye. Yep, so I'm going to just 
Mm-hmm. <gasps> you know what, though? You know what? I just missed a step, so I lied. Mm-hmm. Huh? Well, you can do your nose if you want, but we got to paint our eye color in first. My bad. Yes. Rinse your brush. I just, you know, my brain, it just stalled for a minute. Okay, we're going to rinse that brush out. Yeah, unless you want to paint your nose. Go ahead and paint your nose. Now, I want you to pick your eye color because all of you did a different color, I think, right? I think you guys all did different colors. Yeah. Did you do the same color? Okay, I'm using my background color between my trees for my eye. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> well, I just, you know, I just somehow forgot it. You can put the eye color in after you paint the eye black. That's not a problem. I just like to do it before. Okay, it's a little easier for me. I do, but it doesn't matter. You're fine. Yeah. But I'm going to take this background color. See my blue here? Okay. I'm using the same color as my background, but you guys all pick different colors, right? Yeah. So I'm going to paint my moon shape in my eye. Use your detail. Use your little tiny green brush or your brown brush. And let's paint that moon in the eye first. Here we go. What color do you mix with your eye color? Do you remember? White, white. good. Okay, always add white. But I'm using the same color as my background and I'm just gonna fill in my moon shape. Okay. You ladies are cracking me up. You're making my whole night. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you always make my night. Okay. So it's just this moon crescent shape, huh? You guys just fill it in. And it's okay if you don't have it perfect. We're going to come back with the black and fill it in. And it will cover up anything that we maybe don't like. That's why we're doing it first. That's great. There we go. Fill it in. Okay. We probably have all different colors of eyes, huh? It's awesome. So we're doing black next. Black's going to be our best friend for a little bit. We're going to do our trees and our eyes and our nose. Okay. So it's... Our trees, we got to do our aspen trees. Yeah. They're aspens, right? Our aspen trees. Mm-hmm. It's so pretty, right? I love aspen trees. They're beautiful. And this is one of my most favorite simple ways to paint them. I love it. Do you? All right, let's see. Is everybody eye in? I think we're pretty close. Okay, so let's now let that eye dry for just a minute. We're going to go and do our nose. If you already did your nose, you'll just have to wait a second. I like to outline my nose first with my black. Now remember, add some water to your black. That's super important, okay? If your black is too thick, it will make it really hard. Oh, not that much water. You don't want it to be watercolor water. Down, right? But you just want it inky like a pen. Okay? That way it'll go on nice and easy for you. Okay? And if you outline it first, it helps. Outline it first. Okay? Okay, we're going to do our eye next. Okay, now to do the eye, I like to outline it first. Right? Let's outline our eye first. That gives us a nice, clean edge. I'm going to go around just like you would with a marker, huh? Follow it around. You know what? 
I have done it before, and you know what happens? It turns green after a while. Yeah. Sharpies on acrylic turns green. Yeah. It happens. And it doesn't turn green right away. It turns green after a little while. Okay. Got my outline happening. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. She does. She's here tomorrow night. Uh, it, d it changes. Yeah, we just take turns. It changes. Okay, so I'm going to paint around my crescent eye color. See that? Almost looks like a rainbow, huh? Okay. <laughs> That's why we're using a detail for little things, right? Now, if you accidentally paint too much of your color and you want more of it, you can go back and add it later. Don't try and add it, though, until your black is totally dry. Did you? Did you get gray? That's good. Thank goodness. Oh, good. That's awesome. Okay. Yep. You can paint it all black first and then add the color. Yep. I like to do it this way. It's just a little easier. <laughs> it does, huh? Really? You think so? I haven't seen it yet. Really? Oh, okay. I'll have to see it then. I wondered if it was good. Okay. Did you? Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> huh? is your eye filled in? Let's see. Oh, cute. It's the same as my background. Yeah. Same as my background. Do you girls have questions? Do you need help? Or do you have a question? Need help? What's up, honey? What do you need help with? Just this right here? What's bugging you? That? That's okay. What's wrong with it? Huh? Oh, well, once the black is on, oops, sorry. Once the black is on, remember it's on. So we can curve it a little bit like this. See that? Just curve it a little. It looks great. And we're going to put some white in it too. So it's okay. I love it. You good? Yeah, it's okay. They'll all be a little different. Okay. Now we're going to do some lashes. Right? You did. I saw that. You did already do the eyelashes. So you can do them like me. I like to start up here in the middle of my crescent moon shape. And I curve it into a smile. Oh, really? Yeah, and you can do as many as you want. Okay? Totally up to you. You can do three of them with me, or you could do it just the way you want to. It's totally up to you. Cute, right? 
Yes. I love it. And then I'm going to add an eyebrow. So I have a little eyebrow right here. Just going to curve it. Give her a little eyebrow. And then she also has a smile. Uh, you can add this smile if you want to, right here. Isn't that cute? She's a happy deer. Okay. <laughs> is, is your deer happy or sad? Okay, well, I just checking. We could all do different deer. Uh huh. <laughs> all right, you're all warmed up. You ready to do those trees? Yes. I did do the smile. Okay, we gotta do our trees so you have time to do your spots. Okay. Now our trees are pretty chill. They're not too hard. We're going to use our detail brush. Make sure your black is thinned out. Okay. And then we're going to start at the very top edge of our tree and watch what Miss Sarah does. I'm starting at the top. And if I have enough water, I can just drag my brush down and not stop. Okay. So I'm going to come down. And remember, trees don't need to be perfect, right? Trees aren't perfect. It's OK if it, you're a little shaky on the lines. That's OK. I got to thin my black. You see how my black is breaking up as I come down? Mm, that means I need more water in my black. That's a sign right there. Okay, I want to be able to come down like this and not pick up my brush. See that? That means I have a good amount in my brush. So let's do our edges real quick here on our trees. Okay, I have that one. Got one right over here. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we're starting up here. <laughs> uh huh. Follow it down. You can be a little wobbly. All the way down. <laughs> hey, you guys are going to have a good memory, right? It's the memory. All right, that's it. I just have my lines. Now we can decorate our aspen trees, right? So you're just gonna do your lines and then we'll be ready. <laughs> I am gonna outline some of my deer in a minute, but you don't all have to do that if you don't want to, right? That's totally up to you. Uh-huh. Yeah. I am going to outline some of it, but not all of it. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> I just outlined the outlined the ears with some black. Yeah, if you want to. I know some of you don't like doing that. So you don't have to. I'm just showing you how. I did a little bit of the inside of my ear right there. 
but I didn't do the other side. I just did one side. See that? Okay. And I didn't outline the whole top of the head, just a little bit of it. Just like that, just a little bit. Be careful with your eye, though. Miss Sarah's smearing her eye because, you know, it could happen. What are you, where are you at? Oh, the eyes? Yeah, you're doing it. You're good. Yep, you're just going to outline it, and then I outline the inside of the crescent shape and then fill it in. So outline the inside black and then fill it in with black. It just makes it easier to not lose that shape. Yeah. All right. Are we ready to do the trees? Let me see where everyone's at. Not quite yet? <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm ready when you are. Huh? Oh. Uh-huh. Hey, we all painted different pieces. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. You saw one person. <laughs> Well, you can outline with me, uh, anybody that wants to, while we wait for our friends to be ready to do the trees. I know. You don't have to. But I like to do some outlining. It makes it so some things pop a little more. That's why. Are you done? Did you do your outlining? The black. Yeah, you don't have to. If you want to, you could do it with me. I'm doing a little bit of my chest here. Yeah, just so you can see it really good. <laughs> hey, how are you? Do they need to go right now? Okay, just check it. I can help them finish. All right, guys. Just got to finish our aspen trees. Are you ready? What's what's those? Did you just ask me what's those? Guys, these are aspen trees. Okay, have you guys ever seen aspen trees here in Utah? I okay, I'm just checking cuz like we have them all over here. Have you guys been up into the mountains to see them? They're so pretty. Uh-huh, see? And they're so pretty, right? I love the aspen trees here. Okay, here we go. Let's do our aspen trees. Okay, so the way we do aspens, this is a fun, simple way to do them, okay? We're going to start at the top, and you're just going to add these little lines in your tree. And they don't need to be perfect lines. You don't have to have thin lines because aspen trees, if you've ever looked at them, the black in the trees are all different, huh? You have some really thick black shapes and some small. So I'm going to start at the top and work my way down, okay? Let's do this side first. You can copy me, or you can do it your own way, okay? I know, exactly. I do some long and some short to break it up and have different shapes. See that? And you can kind of press with your brush and get thicker lines or thinner lines, right? And then I'm going to do a rainbow shape. Do you see my rainbow shape? I'm going to do a rainbow and a smile. And this is going to represent a little knot in my tree. Have you guys ever seen a little knot in the trees? 
No? Now you'll have to look. Oh, you'll have to look now because you'll recognize it. You will recognize it now. So I like to press hard at the end of my lines if you want to with your brush to get a thicker line at the end. See that? I'll do it again for you. I'm going to start up at the top of this other side of my tree, and I'm going to do a little smile just to make it a little different. See that smile for another knot that kind of disappears at the top? Okay. Now, when you do these lines, if you want them thicker at the end, you're going to brush. Let's see. You're going to press hard and then get lighter with your brush as you go towards the end. See that? Press. And then lift your brush and get lighter towards the end. So press and lift. And that's going to give you different shapes in your aspen tree. Okay. Do you? Okay. <laughs> It's the wrong color. Oh, you did a sunset. That's right. Hmm. Oh, so the top is lighter. But your outline should work, honey. If you outline it, that should take care of that. Right? Then you'll be able to see your trees. Does that make sense? Yeah, so outline it and then you'll be able to see it okay. Let's do another knot right here. Curving, see how I have a rainbow and a smile below it, huh? And that's how I get my knot shape. I'm gonna add some more. Uh-huh. <laughs> you girls are getting made fun of. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do another knot. I'm going to do one here. I'm going to do my rainbow shape. Right? Do your rainbow. And then we're going to do a smile underneath like that and then a little mark in the middle a little dash and that gives you a knot oh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. definitely oh my goodness guys you're just about done you ready to do your little spots <laughs> It's the very last thing we do. You can add them if you want. We're just doing our highlighting and our spots, and you guys are done. That's it. You did it. You ready to do your spots? You, you need to have your detail brush ready, all clean. Your green one or your brown one. Which one do you have? Yep, brown. Yep, that one. So you're going to put white on it. Okay, so if you're done with your aspen trees, make sure your detail brush is all ready and it has white on it. This is the last thing we do. Okay. Cute, right? Okay, I'm going to put some white on my brush. Yeah, we're going to do our highlighting and our spots. Okay. Now here's my highlighting. I'm going to do a little bit of white on my ear. It just adds light to our painting, right? We love light. Huh? Does yours look like what? Let me see it. Yes, it does, honey. It does. I'm going to put some on my head, and then I want to show off my nose a little bit, right? So we're going to put a little bit on our nose because we want to show it off. 
We want everybody to see it. So I'm going to put a little rainbow sh shape on the top of my nose. Okay. Just a little bit here. Oh, cute, right? Put some inside our face. <laughs> You and your sunset. I'm going to put a little bit of light inside my eye. See that? Helps my blue pop a little bit. Do you remember how to do that reflection in your eye? Yeah. Remember that? Use the back of your brush, right? To do the reflection. So I'm going to turn my brush around and dip it in my white, just like that. Get a nice chocolate chip. And then I'm going to stamp that in my eye to get that little circle. Use the back of your brush, right, to stamp that. Use the back. Yeah. Okay, so your, your spots, you can do as many as you want. We gave you a couple to start, right? All you're going to do is just shape out your shape, your circle. <laughs> Does it? And you're going to fill it in with white. See? That's it. Outline it first, just like if you were using a marker or a pencil. Shape it and then fill it in. We gave you a couple big ones, right? You get to add as many as you want. Okay. So if you just want a couple spots, you could just do a couple. If you want a lot, you can do more. I use the back of my brush for the tiny ones, just like in my eye. So if you have some really tiny spots, use the back of your brush to do it. Okay. What happened, Maddie? You smeared it? Oh, man. That's an easy fix, though, fortunately. Just put some brown over that. Fortunately, we're good. That one we can we can fix. No worries. I'm just I'm filling in the spots we already had on there for you. Okay. Now once those are done, I can look at it and go, hmm, how many more do I want, huh? You gotta decide. All right, raise your hand, honey. Remember, raise your hand. Alora, can you get her one? <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> so bossy. <laughs> Keep her in line. That's right, someone has to. Yeah, she she would not side with me today. She took Maylie's side, so I'm, no, we're not really friends right now. It's It's a thing. Okay, these are the spots we put on there. How many are you guys going to add, huh? Yeah, it's the last thing you do. Add as many as you want. Okay? We love it. I love the flowers. Oh, my goodness. You guys, it was so fun painting with you. You can add any special touches you want. I know one of you wanted to do Rudolph, right? So if you want to change that nose to red, you can. So cute, huh? Okay, but make sure you sign your name if you're all done. I'm going to keep adding some spots here because I have a couple more. Did you? Yeah, do your name. You could do it on the deer for sure. Now, the one thing to remember with your spots is they don't have to be perfect shapes, okay, because it's on fur, right? Okay, 
Yeah, so we're just putting those little ovals or circles, whatever you want on there. And then use the back of your brush for any little ones you want to do, okay? You can fill in space with the little ones. <laughs> don't forget if you're all done and you're headed out, don't forget your jackets, okay? And your water bottles. Yeah, don't forget that reflection. What's up, sweetheart? Are you all done? <gasps> this is for me? Whoa, did you write those letters yourself? That's very cool. She did 3D. She did 3D. I love it. Can I put it on my board? <laughs> High five, girl. Thank you. Made my night. I love this so much. Am I really the best? Mm. Or do you tell all your teachers that? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> hey. I'm glad I'm the best. I'm going to put that up on the board. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. How many more spots we need? I got one more here. I did lots of spots on mine, didn't I? All right. Don't leave without your ride and your jackets. Thanks for painting with me, guys. I had so much fun. Let's do a couple more here. There we go. <laughs> so many white dots. How do we decide? Right? <laughs> Yeah, use those blow dryers. Blow dry them. This deer is on my top favorite list. I love it. Okay, I'm going to use the back of my brush. See that? And I'm going to do my little dots to just fill in space anywhere I want to. <laughs> uh huh. All right, you guys. <laughs> oh, my word. So funny. I'm going to sign it. <laughs> sign your name. Own your work. You did such a good job. It's a big deal. Thanks for painting with me. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up, and we will paint with you another time.